seriously could do could do doing something else than hiding inside a coffin. Really don't fancy that. According to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. Unchild, huh? You? Have you. have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. This guy says he's gonna screw Cicero, loose. Who? Cicero, such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Hmm. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Mm -hmm. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him. The words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. Okay. What treachery! Ooh. Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke there can be only one. More treachery. More treachery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. Guess what there is now? Which she says to tell you darkness rises when silence dies. She said that. She said those words to you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back! <laughs> she has chosen <laughs> a 
do 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 do. She has chosen you. Oh, hail the listener. Hail. <laughs> is over are you all right i heard the commotion who was cicero talking to where's the accomplice reveal yourself traitor there's no one here I spoke only to the night mother i spoke to the night mother but she didn't speak to me oh no she spoke only to him to the listener what the listener mm -hmm. Where are you going that's right baby what is this lunacy it's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? Yes. Fine. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you? Is this just more of the fool's rambling? No, it's true. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the hmm? Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? I know. It's it, it, it's hard to believe, you know. It's as if, you know, I'm fated to just be all these... these the chosen ones for everybody. By Sithis. <laughs> and what did she say? Let's go must speak to someone named Armand Motier. Armand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. No. No. Listen. I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. Mm. I, I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Okay. Receive a side contract. This is all just too much too fast. Go get some work from Nazir. I need time to... to think. Hmm. So more... Con more side stuff. true though I mean it's like you like you're the, the divine being in this game you're picked out for everything okay well then your timing couldn't be better as it turns out I've got two new contracts one rather easy assignment and another that should prove quite a challenge okay your first target is an orc bard named Lerbuk the other is a vampire by the name of Hearn Happy hunting. Okay, tell me about Lerbuk. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. <laughs> so many people saw his death, <laughs> he had to hold a lottery to determine the client. <laughs> He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. Hern and Hurt, huh? Male, Hern. Hmm. But you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. Will do. Okay. Go on now. Alright. Looks like we've got some killing to do. Do 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 do. Uh -huh. oh, I'm wearing Ota. Okay. Oh, that's because I'm wearing the gloves, isn't it? Uh... Hmm. 
<laughs> Killjoy? Me? No. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean him or me? <laughs> ah, there you are. You finished fighting that, eh? Hmm? Failing my tasks, huh? 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 Kill you for what you did. But I've still got it, haven't I? Let's see. Or do I? Oh, him. Oh, he's a, yeah, he's a killjoy, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. I don't see the thing about his museum. There we go. Yeah, visit the museum. So I still got it. So it's not failed. Good. Excellent. All right. Where are we going? Morthal. Okay, we haven't been to Morthal either. Oh, okay. The other one is Kilhern. That's a bit closer, that's right there. <laughs> that's the only problem with the stream chat, is that it's delayed, so I see it, but it takes like 20 odd seconds for you to hear me. So it's, you know. Magicians. Right. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Uh -huh. Well, now, what have we here? A last little lamb. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Now, what have we here? A last yeah! Help! No! Please don't kill me. No! Yeah! Never shoot. Ah! Die. Nice. So we killed the witnesses. I got some more picks for our trouble. <laughs> All right, let's loot the place. Ooh, gold. Nice. What I need. Nope, nothing important there. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you saw her dress. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a very flattering angle, was it? <laughs> right. Oh, okay, I've got two markers now. Which one's which? That way, okay. So we haven't been here either, so... Never did find out about those dreams, did I? But then I suppose I kind of made the town... This is the town not like me after killing what's-her-name. So I'll... We'll go look at it. I'm going to go visit the museum at some point anyway, so... I'll go look, investigate their dreams. Capture the soul of a mud crab. Yeah, there's more full. So let's um, turn this off. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
know she's inside an inn. Well, they're inside an inn, huh? Oh, great. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. <laughs> Sing a song, a song of fear and of death. Uh, is that What's the matter, friend? Kajit got your tongue. Maybe you need a little ditty to loosen your gob, huh? There once was a stranger with eyes full of danger. He spoke not a word. Ah! On, sweet <laughs> Stop, boy. please. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing. <laughs> what about you, friend? Care to join me? Uh, no. <laughs> how about you just? How about we go somewhere more private? Yana, do you think the townspeople are warming to my serenades? No, they ain't, and they aren't gonna. If you weren't paying for your room, I'd have thrown you out a long time ago. Yes, but they'll come around eventually. You'll see. Ah, uh, shouldn't be surprised if they come round, and if you're never seen or heard from again. Sounds like she doesn't want him to be here. <laughs> I'm in the mood. Ah! Oops. Uh oh. Okay, so... <laughs> Is there some silent way of doing it? I'm in the mood to sing! <laughs> what about you? Care to join me? There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. What's with the orc? Lurbuck? Fancies himself a bard. He pays, so I let him stay. If I had any customers, I'd be worried about him annoying them, but well... <laughs> Look around. Hmm, looking for work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Miscellaneous stuff. Uh story behind the burnt house. Oh go on then. Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. How did the fire start? Claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Hrogar started it himself. Was there a wife and child inside? That's what they say. Ew. He's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't hmm. right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. And of course they can't prove that he murdered them. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did though. Might even pay to find out. Hmm, okay. Business in Morthal slow? Slow? No, it just ain't there at all. Few enough reasons to pass through Morthal before the war started. Now, well, let's just say the front door doesn't get much use. Hmm. All right then. Okay, so how am I going to kill this guy without? <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing. <laughs> what about you, friend? Care to join me? Hmm. Yana, do you think the townspeople are warming to my serenades? No, they ain't. And they aren't gonna. If you weren't paying for your room, I'd have thrown you out a long time ago. Yes, but they'll come around eventually. You'll see. Ah, uh, shouldn't be surprised if they... Hmm. What if we wait, say, hang on, let's, um, let's save. We wait a little while, till like night time. So, uh, say... Does, does she bugger off and then I can stab him, maybe? I don't know. Oh, 
No. The PSA. Oh, she's still there. Well, someone else is here now. <laughs> I'm in the mood to well, aren't stay. you the handsome one? <laughs> you and I should spend some time together. It's been a pleasure. Huh? The people here. Yeah. Do they? How delightful. I'm lucky to have a man that is so devoted to me. It's been a pleasure. Hmm. These people are like cattle. All they do is work, sleep, and eat. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm stumped. I mean, I can't kill him without being very public. Unless there's some sort of way of poisoning. <clears throat> what can I get you, Alva? Poisoning his food, maybe? Want something to eat? Eat? No, I don't think I'm hungry. Not now, at least. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing. <laughs> what about you, friend? Care to join me? <laughs> when do you people go to sleep? Seriously. To offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing. <laughs> what about hmm. care to join me? I don't know. Something obviously I'm missing here. Um, a quick. He's going to sleep now. Let's save a second. Okay, no, maybe not then. <laughs> What can't you get me, sweetie? Um, did um. eat? No, I don't think I'm hungry. I don't know. How can I? Not now. At least. Right. Okay. Uh, tell me if you change your mind. Ah. Ah. No. No. Ah. I miss. <laughs> How do I kill him? I'm just gonna have to cut and run. Kill him and just cut and run. Do you think? Why good evening? What can I get you, Alva? What can't you get me, sweetie? Um, did you want something to eat? Eat? Huh? Somebody help! Uh-oh. nothing! <laughs> Run! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Not really the way I wanted to do it, but hey. 
So next time I go back there, I'm going to pay off my bounty. Well, plenty of gold, so I can do that. That's no problem. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we can go right back. What's his name now? We need to talk. Uh huh. Of course, Astrid. What is it? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but. Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Okay. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's Herald, to play some part in a being's inevitable end. Still here? What's the matter? Can't ha You're alive. Then I guess you haven't paid a visit to the vampire yet, hmm? Uh-huh. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And Thanks. if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. No, no, I'm fine. I'm, of course, I'm, well, I'm a werewolf. Go all along. Here's your payment. There's Lubric. Her book. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Mm hmm Anymore? Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Alrighty. You want something from me? Well, it depends. I don't know, you look too ugly to be that, uh, that needy, so. <clears throat> Definitely don't want anything from you. Silence is broken. Okay.